My name is Ashley Brown, and I'm the manager of Impact and Learning at Tipping Point Community. Tipping Point Community fights poverty in the Bay Area. We provide unrestricted funds to organizations that are focused on education, early childhood, housing, and employment. San Francisco has recently developed a financial justice project that's focused on fines and fees and really right-sizing those fines and fees to one's ability to pay. We really took an interest in that and wanted to see how we could contribute and decided to request citation and tow data from the SFMTA and start to look at the ways that there may be bias or disproportionate fines or fees to individuals. One of the most interesting insights that we got from this project was realizing that individuals that have older cars, which we tied to being more low income, end up having higher citation amounts for the same citation type. And what we learned when we dug into that is that those individuals are getting the same citation, they're getting charged the same amount initially, but because they're not able to pay that amount, then they end up getting late fees, which increase their total amount due well beyond what those that have newer cars or are more likely higher income. I'm Jamie Austin. I'm a senior director of Impact and Learning at Tipping Point. Our board was very interested in us learning more from big data, but we didn't have the tools. And the tools that we had in-house were things like Stata and Excel, and not the kind of tools that can unlock the insights that Spotfire data science could. When we started to better understand what TIPGO does, uh, we knew that that was a place for us to engage. We knew that we could uh, use this tool to help us further our mission. We've been working with the Financial Justice Project. That's a project within the Treasurer's Office. They're trying to right-size fines and fees for low-income people. So they are certainly leading the charge. Other departments are not as aware of what they're doing or may not be as bought on to the idea of right-sizing fines and fees. We spoke to the head of SFMTA, and we also spoke to the Mayor's Budget Office about what we had learned from our analysis. And the interesting insight that we got was kind of twofold. First was just surprise at the data because it had never been presented in this way. But the second reaction we got from both groups was that, wow, we do all that we can within the city to help those who are low income or those who are living in poverty. And with a simple citation fee or a tow, we can destroy their lives. And so just having the ability to have data like this was very insightful and very informative and has led to some policy changes. As a result of the findings that low-income individuals are more burdened by these late fees, we worked with the Financial Justice Project who did a lot of advocacy with the city to create a program that is a fines and fees forgiveness program, which allowed individuals that are 200% of the federal poverty line or below to be totally forgiven of any of their late fees that they've acquired at any point in time. According to SFMTA's estimates, there'll be at least hundreds of thousands of dollars saved through the changes in the policy that they've made. This has really given us an opportunity to think about what other work we could do from this analysis. And using a tool like this, we can better understand and answer questions that we never were able to before in a quick and efficient way.